Hey guys, back out on the water here uh, with Mike from Myconic Marine Group, and thank you for uh, for doing this again for me. Boat number one was excellent. Great. Boat number two is big. This is a Fountain 38 center console with triple 350 uh, outboards. Correct. So tell me what I need to know about this boat. This is a this is a big daddy boat here. It's a good boat. This is, and uh, certainly this one is set up for fishing, but. Uh, it's it's our top of the line boat today that we are that we're putting out of the factory. Uh, you'll run a little over three hundred thousand dollars on this boat, but I mean it's a lot of money. But actually, is it actually seems pretty reasonable for a boat of this size at, at this quality level with the trim and the leather and all that electronics and stuff. Thank you. It'll <laughs> give, it'll give you everything that uh, it'll give you everything I think you want, and certainly our performance is is right at the top. With it's yeah. So this is, this is a seventy five mile an hour boat. We will. I give or I take. think we'll be yes. over seventy five today. So but uh, not, but seventy five is a good number. I'm I'm excited, and it, it's a big boat. It's it's got a ten and a half foot beam. I'm told. Uh, so it's got a, a nice wide berth as well as a deep V hull that's stepped, so it should run real nice in the chop and everything. Uh, a lot of technology on here. Tell me about this stuff. So we've got dual screens, and we we the, we happen to be in a Simrad boat. We also have Garmin screens, but the screens are connected, and you can run anything mirrored, on any right? one of the so screens. You could run. I could run nav here, fish here, fish here, nav here, gauges. Da, da, da. Yeah, radar. You can have your mercury information up here if you want. They're highly configurable and menu driven, and everything else. So if and you're comfortable with computers, you'll love them. And 100% digital gauges. No more analog gauges in this boat. Correct. Uh, and also, uh, we talked about it a little bit in the. Baja, but trim tabs you're saying are, are very important. So you've got your engine trim, which for those of you not familiar is the angle of your propeller and your outboard motor. But then you also have hull trim tabs. Correct. So what are we using those for? So we, just for us running, we, we generally won't use them. Sometimes you can put them down to get up on plane a little bit faster, but then you get them off right away. If you happen to be in wind or your boats, you got your heavy people on one side of the boat. You can use a trim tab to keep your That's level That's what I use running. them for. Yeah, on the smaller boats, I use them for like if everyone's on this side of the boat, you can kind of use that water pressure to level the boat out a bit. Right, and what we'll do is we're we're trying to see where that top end is today in today's weather conditions. Oh, it's we'll beautiful, get the, calm day. That's right. As the, as the dawn sea goes by in the background. We'll get the, uh, the engine trimmed up right, and we'll do that largely by sound, but you can tell with speed. And then we'll adjust the trim down just a little bit, and we'll let you see what that does. And it's cool. just adjusting it down to get the maximum performance out of the boat. And this is uh, the first boat I've ever driven with triple engines. I've done two engines. I haven't done three. And so basically, you have two levers. And most of the time, I'm told, they, the engines are synced together using a button that says sync. So you can really just use one lever, and all three will be the same. Correct. But for docking, you can unsync them and then your levers are only the outside two engines. Yep, and I believe the sink is gonna keep the RPMs of them fairly close together. Your one lever feature then will allow you just to use the one lever the and one move all three at a time. Perfect. But, but certainly in close quarters, you, you take that off so you can, you can twist if you want to by going back and forward separately on the motors. Cool, and then uh, just like the other boats, drive by wire. So the other, this is a hydraulic steering oh, system. There's a hydraulic steering pump underneath here. Hydraulics uh, back to the motors. Okay. All hydraulic steering. Okay, cool. So throttle by wire, hydraulic steering. Correct. Great. Well, let's uh, let's we're gonna go to one lever, and uh, let's uh, let's see what this thing will, will do. And now, so we want to we want to see how it handles as well. Um, nice, easy, easy. Yeah, I think you'll notice this is a lot quieter horsepower delivery. Well, I mean, compared to like an uncorked V8, these right. four strokes are really, and this is a inline six, correct? It is. 350 it is. horsepower inline six. All right. And just a, if you step yeah, out to, the, to the, the left of the yeah. green marker and uh, let, let's see what it'll do. Folks, the bow will come down so you can see. Already, that's 27, 30, there's 35, there's 40, there's 45, 47, there's 50 miles an hour. Wow, this thing really goes. There's 55 miles an hour. Pick up your trim a little on the engine. Trim up a little on the engine. There's 57 miles an hour. Nine miles an hour already 
surpassing the top speed we saw in the Baja. We're about to hit this wake. Let's see how it do. Oh, like it's butter. Like it's nothing. <laughs> 62 mile an hour cruise at 5,000 RPM, not so bad. So where do we want to adjust our trim so now? now? We're going to go down just a little bit. All right, trimming down a little bit. We're at eight, which is the highest. Okay, 63 miles an hour. You felt the valve come down just a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I just felt the valve Bring come. the engine up a little bit. Engine up a little bit. Where's, oh, engine up. Okay, there, there we go. go. Right there, that's good. Oh, I feel it really it. mighty. Just right? felt it get a little light there, that's brilliant. 69 miles an hour. That was just five miles an hour with no touch. Oh, wow. Adjustment, Crossing right? 70 miles an hour. Hell yeah. Oh, wow, this is rock solid. This is some boat, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I feel bad for these guys fishing, but not really. 73 miles an hour. Look at it go. Wow! Trim up a little more on the engines. Holding 73 miles an hour. Man, this thing is fast. Up to 74. 75 miles an hour. All right. Man, we are making ground. <laughs> oh, let me come down off of this a little bit. All right, let's see how it cuts the waves a little bit here. All right. And now before you do that, let's get the trim up. Oh, oh. well, even over Reggie's wake there, no big and deal. 60 miles That's an 60 hour. miles an hour hitting the wake sideways. All right, let's bring it down to about 50, and we'll see how it cuts some wake here. All right. Down to 44 miles an hour, and I'll, I'll trim Turn back down. down. Yep, okay. Well, it definitely, you know, it feels bigger. It's not, it's not that that lightning quick steering like you get with the Baja, but trades it out for quite a bit of straight line stability. Yep, and you know, you can turn it over a little bit. I'll hold on. Yeah, I'll hold on. Oh, oh, not yeah. bad. Not I mean, bad. You can lean it down pretty yeah, good. You can. We're good here, right? I mean, that's, that's that was pretty good. Yeah, not a not a bad turning radius actually. And if you if you hammer it out, it really accelerates from 30 nicely. This is a good boat. Yeah, I'm about this. Well, I, I like these center consoles because you get there's such versatility with them. You know, you can fish. You, I'm not sure I'd ski off this one, but uh, this is a beautiful boat. It's really smooth. Thank you. Hammer down. All right. Hammer down. Start trimming up. Just Trim a it up. Bit. Let me cut across this wake straight. How does this do? Huh. Oh, like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. And if we come back towards the red mark right out here. Gentle, gentle come back. Yeah, go ahead. 65 miles an hour. This feels good. It's really, really planted. I'm a fan, sir. <laughs> Now, I, Reggie looks like he's topped out over there. We yeah. gotta pass him. Yeah, he wants you to pass him. It's That's not it. a race, but it's a race. All right, trim it up. Yep. Yeah. And you can feel that speed coming up. Yep. No more throttle, you're up here. I'm on the floorboard up. here. does like 35 and enjoy it, you know? Yeah, well, at some point you gotta slow down because the fish can't point. catch you at 75. If you're gonna catch fish, you gotta be going a little slower. Oh, man. How cool. Trim down again on the engine. Wow, what's really 
really neat about this is how fast the engines trim down. They really, I mean, at least according to the gauge, they yeah, drop yeah. down real quick. Wow, this is some boat. And I assume we've got all the toys, Bluetooth, stereo, all that kind of stuff. Bluetooth, stereo, yep. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And we're, we're putting channel stereo in them now. It's, you know, a couple of subwoofers, a bunch of speakers. Uh, so, you know, there's, there's still, it, this boat is a fishing boat, but we're making it a lot more family friendly and getting some extra seating in them now. Yeah. So that, uh, and this this one doesn't have bow seating, but now they're coming with bow seating in yeah, it. Yeah, it's optional bow seat, right? There it is. Wow. What an awesome boat this is. I, I get it. 100% I get it. <laughs> well, because, you know, it's one thing like, the the, uh, the Baja and, and that style of just you know the, the poker run go real fast boat you know it's like it's like a having a track car or something it's a singular purpose thing I mean yeah you can use it for other stuff but this has the speed and the versatility and the practicality and then with the outboards you can like upgrade it later and all that right right, right. cool this is a kick-ass ride I'm about this 300 grand for this boat Yep. About that. You got to. If you brought your checkbook out, we have. You tell them what color make, we'll get it painted, and I'll make a lot more videos. <laughs> a lot more videos. Check out iconicmarinegroup.com. Iconicmarinegroup.com. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Thank and, you. Uh, I'll put all the information. If you're out there and you got 300 grand to, to blow on a boat, this is this is a good place to start. I'm a fan, uh, and we'll share all your stuff. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. And we have one more boat. We have one more and boat. And it's, it's the childhood dream boat, and I I am super excited, and we will see you very soon with that.